Hello everyone, you are watching Wisdom Shots. Once an unhappy young man came to an old master and said, My life is miserable and sad, you know, give me a solution. So the old master instructed the unhappy young man to put a handful of salt in a glass of water. And then he asked to drink it. How does it taste? So the master asked. You know, it was terrible and he spat. So the master smiled and you know, asked the young man to take another handful of salt and put it in a nearby lake. So now drink from the lake. How does it taste? You know, it is fine, he replied. Do you taste the salt? You know, not really, you know, said the young man. So the master sat, uh, sat beside this troubled young man, took his hands and said, your problems in life, your pain, your fear, your challenges, your stress are like pure salt, not more, not less. Pain is inevitable in life, you know, stress is inevitable in life, but suffering is optional. The amount of pain or suffering we taste in life depends on the container we put it into. When you are in pain, the only thing you can do is to enlarge your sense of things. So stop being a glass, you know, become a lake. So the story ends here. The question is, how to become a lake, you know, how to have that big mind, strong mind. So nice philosophical stuff, right? But how to practice it? Let me start with what is mind? I don't remember the source of this information. I read this long time back and then it stayed with me ever since. So in that book or article, it says our mind is not inside our body. Our body is inside our mind. Our mind is really big. And you have the power to expand your mind. You can expand your mind and you, and you can even touch people. Our mind is an energy field around us. You can have a small mind with small thoughts and problems like that glass. Or you can have a big mind like a lake with great thoughts and feelings. Your ability to handle the stresses in life depends on the size of the container or the size of our mind. Recently, I was listening to an interview podcast, The Renvir Show. So he was interviewing A.R. Rahman. So Renvir asked this question to A.R. What is the role of spirituality in your life and how did it help you? Rahman's answer was profound. He said, I was an introvert, a shy kid, but everything changed when I connected to the source. After embracing spirituality, my mind became big. Listen to this. If the mind gets refreshed, the mind gets big takes a larger purpose in life, then you see many things manifesting. You know, your, your, your actions manifest beautiful things. And if you, the most strongest man, if you have a small mind, vice versa, you know, the opposite happens. So I'm here, uh, a very small person, timid, low self-esteem, inferiority complex. When the mind became empowered, the mind was seeing bigger things. Um, under that shadow of, of that spirituality, everything reflected in my life. The decisions I took and the confidence with every step it was about praying and wishing that it'll go well for either for me, for other people. Beautiful, isn't it? So one more thing he said in the same interview was the ultimate meditation is, you know, when you mingle with the divine. He said there is 70,000 screens between you and God and each screen is removed by your positive thoughts and actions. Your action of becoming humble, your action of killing your ego and surrendering, your action of refraining from illegal activities, your action of not being greedy, your action of being empathetic, your action of showing respect to other living beings and not harming them, having good intentions and positive thoughts. By these actions, each screen goes off and you finally mingle with the divine. So by these actions, your mind becomes bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger, you know, like a lake. See, the core teaching of all religions is to make your mind big and strong. And if you look at uh, yoga, right, the word itself means union, union of individual consciousness with that of the universal consciousness. Small mind to big mind. Now, all these asanas and all are just one part, but for real union, you know, Padanjali teaches Yama and Nema, 
right in a set of personal values and principles and emma and neema principles are very close to what rahman said about clearing screens and screens to reach the god see whatever pain we have in life problems sufferings the solution is to make our mind bigger stronger to face those challenges if your mind is small and if the problem is big that's when we suffer as wayne dyer says there's a spiritual solution to all our problems so every day find time for meditation prayer or any rituals to connect with the universe if you have ever practiced any form of meditation in your life you know what i'm talking about whenever we meditate we expand our mind but when you feel depressed or sad you close yourself your mind becomes smaller and smaller you know when you think of others when you love others when you when you help others your mind expands if you think only about yourself you know, your mind becomes small so please make a conscious effort to put love peace in above everything else to maintain that high vibration think and give away thoughts of peace and love in any conflict situation whenever you feel low or sad and you know that your lower vibration will attract more of the same you can maintain a high vibration and expand your mind by prayer meditation chanting doing something engaging or even helping other people so whatever works for you stop giving attention and energy to negative thoughts see all of us are going through real tough time right now right a lot of negativity around us so like the way we take vaccines to protect our body it's also important to protect our mind you know heal our mind by connecting to some source which gives you positivity our mind is everything so be the energy you want to attract you know have a big strong mind so my sincere prayers you know for a better tomorrow for all of us Thank you so much for watching. Stay strong, stay safe.